An introduction to constitutional law, 100 Supreme Court cases everyone should know, by Randy Barnett and Josh Blackman. Number 43, Wickard versus Filburn, 1942. We know that at least one member of the court, Justice Robert Jackson, initially favored abandoning all judicial scrutiny of the scope of Congress's commerce power. But even the New Deal court was not prepared to take such a momentous step. Instead, it further expanded the substantial effects test. Even if Filburn's small amount of locally consumed wheat did not itself have a substantial effect on interstate commerce, when all of the locally consumed wheat nationwide is considered together, in the aggregate, it has a substantial effect on interstate commerce. This doctrine is known as the aggregation principle. We hope you've enjoyed this preview. Visit conlaw.us to access our 12-hour video library. You can also instantly download our ebook, 100 Supreme Court Cases Everyone Should Know.